not grown into being able to do yet. That attitude of humility that you're expressing along with this very service-oriented task that you have for yourself is very admirable. But somehow there must still be temptations around you. How do you keep yourself grounded in maintaining sobriety? I don't know. It's the the obsession to drink, the uh, the idea that that could do for me what God does for me today. Just it's just laughable, uh, <laughs> you know. And, and uh, it also reminds me of a guy in early sobriety who had lung cancer, and he was sober for uh, 12, 14 years or something at the time. And he's going through the last stages of it. And he was up at our at our club and, and someone was asking well why don't you you know why don't you use or drink and he, he said that he wouldn't throw it back in God's face for the years that he had um, in sobriety so it was just like that always really stuck with me like you know this isn't just about the instant gratification this isn't just about um, you know well I'll do this as long as everything goes good <laughs> It's just part of my life, part of who I am now. I mean, I don't, I don't hate drinking as the institution. I don't hate, you know, the drugs and all that stuff. I know that it is part of a spiritual journey. Um, I'm sure I'll get a lot of people that disagree with that, but that's okay. You know, uh, uh, 99% of the people out there who drink or whatever don't have the kind of problems that I have. You know, I put that stuff in my body. And, uh, uh, if I have to control it, I'm definitely not going to enjoy it. And if I'm enjoying it, I damn sure can't control it and I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, and like I said, uh, that coupled with the fact that I know it doesn't work, it doesn't do for me what God does for me today, um, it would just be insane to to go down that road and go, wow, I think I can handle this now. <laughs> when I have so many experiences that uh, that I know that I can't, and I don't, uh, I don't uh, get into the debate of, well, maybe I can. Uh, I just don't go there. If your life were made into a movie, would you tell it as a straight narrative? Or more of a pastiche of images mixed together? I think I would have to go with the images. You know, I think it would be, uh, and like I still can't get that out of my mind. I did some work in England and uh, watched TV late night, you know, and after like midnight or one o'clock, I can't remember what it was, TV became completely different. I mean, there was just like bizarre images of, you know, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, everything from, you know, uh, sexually explicit, you know, uh, scenes to, uh, it's just, it, it was bizarre. I don't know if I'll run across anyone that uh, can tell me about that, but uh, I just remember being in the hotel and it was just like these uh, disjointed uh, sets of movie clips or, you know, different videos and stuff that they played after uh, a certain time of evening. And I think it would be something more like that, you know, it would be an interesting of different things. What are a couple of songs that would be on your movie soundtrack? Uh, definitely some classical music. Uh, I always had to, uh, I don't know, like a mental affinity to some of Mozart's or uh, uh, some of those, uh, uh, some of those uh, pieces. Uh, that he did. Um, don't know why. I don't really need to know why. I just do. Um, definitely some techno music. You know, I mean, I, I'm sitting in the, the office where I'm where I'm working uh, now, and there's a lot of pamphlets about, you know, uh, the effects of crack cocaine, the effects of marijuana, the effects of you know club drugs, and you know they get this one pamphlet about raves and stuff like that. And when I was uh, still out there using. There was a period of time where we did rave parties and um, always loved the music, you know. I mean, there was times I'd 
get out there and dance and, and just be completely away and gone for you know three or four hours just dancing and uh, just in one with the music and the, the beat and you know the body and uh, just lost uh, in, in kind of a spiritual well obviously trance um, probably a little bit of rock and roll uh, a couple slow songs Your music certainly fits your choice of collage imagery also. Could you give your movie a title? I just think of that, uh, I don't know if you've seen that silly, uh, the stork, and it's got the, the frog, he's, the stork is eating the frog, and the frog has his hands around the stork's throat, sure. you know, so he doesn't yeah. get thrown down. Um, never give up, I don't know, how do you say persistence? Get it down to one word, I would uh, say onward or move. Oh, yeah. Maybe move would be. Uh, Very nice. Would have to be the. What I would call it, I suppose. Well, thank you, Eric.